Farmer's here, Zazu, so I'm gonna put my hand on his bum before I turn on the water. We're just gonna rinse his tail a little bit. I have already got my water warm. Sometimes at farms it takes a minute to get it all warmed up. And then I'm just gonna keep my eye on those back legs in case he gets startled. Once it's all damp like that, I'm gonna take my shampoo. Any shampoo will do. Um, a lot of barns use ivory and that's great too. So I'm gonna take a nice handful of it and just put bits of it all down his tail. Now everyone focuses always on this end, especially when you have a white tail, and that's fine um, and definitely important to do, but we also need to make sure that we scrub all into these little bits here. And if you feel like you haven't gotten the top wet enough, then you should redo it so that you can really get the suds in and scrape. Um, if you have hunters, your tail braider will thank you for this, um, that, that it's really good and clean in there. And also, if you have hunters and you have your tails braided, sometimes they look dandruffy and gross um, if you haven't really scrubbed in there. I'm gonna add a little bit more water to mine and a little bit more soap. Again, just careful of my young horse here that he doesn't get too startled with me. Now, it's really important that I'm putting quite a bit of shampoo in him, right? So we need to be very sure when we do our rinse that it all comes out because that'll irritate the skin um, and also make it flaky, which you won't like uh, when you get to the horse show. So make sure you scrub it all in. He's not super loving it, but then we're gonna just double check our bottom here and just, just like when you do your own hair at home, just double check it. Now, if you have a really dirty tail, you might have to do it twice, just like your own hair. Good boy. Another good way to do your tail is if you do your body with a bucket, that after you do that, you use what's left in your bucket. If you have cold water, they'll scoot their bum under, because that's pretty cool. And then I'm gonna make sure that I get it all the way down to the bottom. So Zazu's tail here, I would do it a second time um, myself because I think it's not quite clean enough. Um, so I've re-soaked it again a second time. Double check that all my soap is out of it and I can feel all the way through it that we've got all the soap out. So we're gonna go back to the barn and brush it. So we have Zazu back here from the wash rack. I'm gonna just towel, his, towel dry his tail uh, one time to get all the little drips out of it. And then uh, we're gonna brush through it. You don't have to brush through it when it's wet. Um, if you do, I would suggest you use a comb instead of a brush um, because the comb is more sympathetic and will rip less hairs out when it's wet. Um, and then every time you are gonna brush your tail, you should definitely use a spray and just give it a really good thorough spray through. Um, make sure that it's coated completely. You can use any kind you like. Um, there's definitely also leave-in conditioners that you can do after um, and then I'm going to just gently comb through his tail, um, just at the top, make sure I get all these little bits. Again, your braiders will be happy with you if you can, um, de-knot everything up here and keep it all really healthy. And then we're just going to start at the bottom and work our way to the top. If you haven't seen our tail brushing video, um, every hair that breaks off takes a year to go from the top to the bottom. So every hair you break, um, will thin your tail out for a significant period of time. So we don't want to break any of those off. If you come across a knot in their tail, don't rip through it, pick through it, or leave it till the tail's dry, but absolutely never rip through it and rip your tail out, you'll regret it. So once you have it all brushed through like this, then I'm just gonna towel dry it one more time. Sometimes with the, when you get through it, you'll find there's more uh, water in there. I think it's important that you brush your tail every day um, but I never brush a dirty tail and I would never brush a knotted tail that I can't get through. So if that's the case, then you should definitely take your horse to the wash rack and wash their tail um, and definitely use the spray every day on their tail. Um, and then if you feel like it's building up, then take them to the wash rack and brush it or wash it out again.